Muslims praying at the tomb of a Jewish prophet. This is Kifl, a small Iraqi town beside the Euphrates where, according to Jewish tradition, the Old Testament prophet Ezekiel is buried, beneath the spire you see here. I'm Stephen Farrell of the New York Times, and I'm 20 miles south of the ruins of ancient Babylon, whose King Nebuchadnezzar sent the Jews into exile here 2,500 years ago. From Kifl, the Euphrates, one of the famed rivers of Babylon, looks much as it must have done in biblical times. Ezekiel was Jewish but the shrine is now mainly visited by Muslims, who also revere him as a prophet. Why is this site important to you? This, uh, the holy, uh, because it is a very holy place. This, the prophet of God. We consider it, uh, it is very holy. The tradition is ancient, although Iraqi archaeologists say they have yet to finish their work beneath the 14th century shrine on the site. The buildings certainly need repair. A minaret that was leaning badly in this photograph two years ago now has a scaffolding to stop it falling down. Babel, after all, does not have a good history with towers reaching to the heavens. Inevitably, in a place where Muslim, Christian and Jewish traditions overlap, Kifl has many layers. There are Quranic verses on the wall about the prophet that Muslims here call the Dhu Kifl, and Arabic is built into the brickwork of the minaret. But there is also Hebrew lettering around the wall of the tomb itself and a prayer to Ezekiel above the entrance door. On the wall there are photographs from the 1930s of Iraqi Jews who once lived and worked here. However, Iraq's Jews are all but gone now and Shia clerics look after the site. Those clerics and the local government now have their own plans for a new kifl to bring pilgrims of all faiths. With a poster of Kifl on the door of his Baghdad office, this heritage official hopes it can be a site that unites. We can prove to the world that this site is one of the cultural places that promotes civilization and peaceful coexistence between peoples. Zvi Yehuda, a Jewish historian, was born in Kifl in 1936. Like most Iraqi Jews, he left Iraq in the 1950s, but he has fond memories of Kifl. And these are my uncles. In the market, there were big stores. It is not only there was shops, there was also big stores. And there is a big store near the minaret. So the Iraqi government has plans to, to make it a center for religious visitors, yes. for pilgrims. Um, do you think this is a good thing or a bad thing? Do you feel confident about it's the future? It's a very good thing, yes. Because many Jews want to, I think, want to pilgrimage there. Because uh, they believe in Ezekiel, uh, uh, as a Jewish prophet, uh, Iraqi Jews, for example, or Babylonian Jews, and for all, all the nation, uh, the Jewish nation. 